Jose Library, we have an art show that has um, artwork from Western students as well as from Crozet and Brownsville elementary students. It's here partially because we were not able to have a countywide art show this year, so um, our lead coach, Mindy, um, invited us to do feeder pattern shows. So a few of the schools in the Western feeder pattern, um, we joined forces to bring um, some of the students' artwork out to the public. We have a wide variety of pieces. We have um, ceramic pieces, we have um, paintings, drawings, photography, and digital artwork. I love being able to share our work in the community because then our community can see what, um, what great thinkers our students are, how they think outside the box, how they can problem solve, and also how they can express themselves um, in this very visual way. Um, and I think the community likes to see that and the students really enjoy sharing their work that way. Um, as a visual artist, that is the way you share your work. You know, a performing artist, you know, puts on a show. Uh, this is our version of, of that. My piece is for the Memory Project, which is a project where um, you know, the memory organization, they go to underdeveloped countries and they um, go to villages and they take pictures of kids and then they uh, send them to high school artists and then we get to paint portraits for them and then they collect them and then they send them back to the kids. Um, so I did one, my girl is from Sierra Leone in West Africa and her name is Emina and in the photos they hold up these cute little signs with their name and their age and their favorite color um, and they'll have some adjectives about themselves. I wanted to like kind of show her um, you know how I saw her, how other people see her and like know that, you know, she's got people that like think she's cool and fascinating. And, like that, you know, there are other people out there that like will see this artwork and like think of her. And I think that's really, really cool. I wanted to make something functional because I hadn't made something functional in a while. Um, and uh, I decided I wanted to make a teapot because she was actually teaching about teapots to another class. And I decided to make it with a face as a spout. So the spout is actually right in the mouth of the face. I like to use like ceramic, the ceramic medium to express how um, I see the human features and I see the human face and how I think um, functional pieces can be made to look interesting and different. This is with pen and ink and I just, I always pay great, a great deal of attention to texture. It's something I've always focused on when I was, since I was really little because one of the first media forms I learned how to do was pen and ink and I kind of view my pieces as like a little love letter to texture. Sometimes a picture tells more than words. My piece is based on a poem I did and this poem was inspired by my experience as being a type 1 diabetic and sort of the alienation you feel like in being disabled like in a community of able-bodied people and kind of feeling like feelings of being othered like especially I always felt those feelings very strongly when I was very little and always feeling like I never com could completely fit in. For me it's always been the easiest way to express myself because often I struggle quite a bit with my words and art is like the simplest way for me to do it. Because in a way, it's it's because it, it's come it's come easy to me in ways which I'm really thankful for. Um, we hung it up last week, and it'll run for one more week, so we're taking it down on the 29th. We're also at this time having a senior art show, so that show is over at school, and that is the work of our senior artists at Western. This is a chance for our seniors. Um, to kind of reflect about their artistic growth and where they're going with art. Um, a lot of our kids do choose to continue to take art in college. Um, I think even if they don't take art in college, it's a big part of their lives. Incredible pieces here from a bunch of different disciplines. We have um, some 3D pieces from ceramics, we have digital photography, we have an AP art class. If you, know, if you read some of the artist statements, it's really powerful to read about the experiences students have had for, you know, a lot of them have done this for four years or three years even, and so um, you can see their growth as an art or as an artist over the last three or four years, but for a lot of them it's more so a growth as a human, and, and those two things sort of parallel one another. We're just, we're really incredibly proud of the students. I mean, that's, I think that's why all of us get into teaching is to work with students, so we want them to get the recognition and, and publicity that they deserve for their incredible work. So the Senior Art Show runs for approximately a week and a half. It's on display in the cafeteria where the most students, teachers, adults in the building will see it.